Hey, welcome back to Techno Babble. You've probably heard of the uh, WaveBird Wireless, but have you ever heard of the Pelican G3? Wireless controller for the GameCube? Definitely, probably trying to catch on that WaveBird hype. That was a really cool controller for a lot of people. I personally never had one. I had the uh, janky off-brand Pelican G3 here and um, it had decided to kind of quit functioning so well for me so I've uh, decided to take it apart and take a look at it and stuff. Like most of these old controllers it tends to go they kind of fall apart after a while. So taking this controller apart a little bit kind of fiddly just because of the way that the uh, how would you phrase that the holes that the screws go into they're quite quite deep like regular screwdriver depends on the type of screwdriver like a uh, I fix it style of screwdriver won't really go down far enough into the hole to reach the screw head Uh, part of this is cleaning the controller up, part of it is uh, trying to see if there's anything I could do about the thumbsticks. Because they do drift now, after all these years, like a lot of other old controllers. I don't know if drift is a natural thing or an abuse thing I mean it's to some degree a natural thing because things wear out over time but like I've had a Nintendo switch for that I got used for a couple of years now I don't play it all the time but I've never had issues with stick drift on that controller either I don't know Another thing that's currently on my mind while recording the voiceover for this, I've actually had this video together and edited for a long time, but I've been highly focusing on my art channel. And I've been a little bit sort of honestly downtrodden about Techno Babble and what I had hoped for it to be because I was hoping to do this alongside uh, my friend game despo I don't really know if he wants me putting his name out there so we'll just go by the gamer tag that he came up with um, and I've not got any content out of him <laughs> he's I've talked to him about it and he says he finds it hard to stay motivated which I suppose that I can understand but at the same time, I've told him that I would edit the videos and stuff if he would just send me the footage. That's a whole different thing. But then that that the issue behind that really is that I'm broke. <laughs> and I don't have the money to bring in new tech and stuff all the time. Like, he's got... He just got a new Steam Deck and he bought a Steam controller and stuff and we were I was hoping to get some unboxing videos and stuff out of him and he's not come through yet. And I don't really like the idea of having to call him out on the channel, but considering that I've tried to talk him up in so many of the other videos that I've made, I've, I kind of have to because that's just the reality is I don't know how much, how often that I can create new content for techno babble like i will always try to in the future record when stuff breaks like this controllers and when they need cleaned and taken apart and all that but i only need to do it like per one style of controller once i don't remember what in the world i was trying to point out there as far as this video goes the uh, g3 does not use standard uh potentiometers for the thumbsticks though and so I can't really go in that I'm aware of and replace them with uh, just like off the shelf parts from Amazon or something so this controller's kind of stuck dead 
Um, this is more for fun and learning and just taking stuff apart and piddling around with it. Rather try to fix it and find out that I can't than throw it in the trash and not be able to do anything with it at all. But yeah, so I've just got to be realistic about how often I would be able to upload to this channel because um, I don't I'm not financially able to buy new tech all the time or anything like that like it's just not a reality for me and as Valhalla's demise I have a patreon but I'm not asking anyone to fund techno babble because it was meant to be a group venture and like I said he's He's kind of into electronics and stuff, and he's got a, a pretty darn fancy computer build, basically. Uh, he's got water cooling and all that, and he's got a Steam Deck that he may or may not get around to giving me the footage for, because I think he said he recorded it. Um, but realistically, like, I don't buy consoles all the time. Like, I've got a Series X and a PS5, and the unboxings are here, and hopefully I don't have to work on those for a while, but when I do, you know, like I said, I will. I will get around to working on things as needed. And, yeah, that's the sad reality of it is I, I can't, I cannot stay on the newest, latest trends. Like, I know that uh, I've complained in other videos, like, oh, I record stuff on my phone. Well, some people will probably hear that and go, oh, that's not that big of a deal. A lot of YouTubers record stuff on their phones. Yeah, they record stuff on iPhones or, like, uh, high-end Galaxy that they have to do monthly payments on and whatever. I'm running off $120 Samsung Galaxy doing my recordings, and the autofocus is crap. I know it's not as easy to tell, but I can see it, especially in these videos. You can see it kind of pulses, like it zooms in and out. And then the stand on my desk is shaky. Crap like that. Whatever. That's uh, not really the point. Not what I'm trying to get off my chest here. It's just that, like, uh, next year, around when uh, America does tax returns and stuff, I will hope to do some upgrades to my computer and there is a still a gamecube controller getting ready to release from retro fighters that i hope to be able to get my hands on whenever it does release pretty quickly and uh sort of check it out but like i can't afford a steam deck i can't afford a new phone i can't get a new tablet the laptop that we got the lenovo which i still need to do a review for but like i said i've just been so downtrodden about this channel and not being able to keep up content on it like I don't know that this content belongs all in one place and that's why I split them up to begin with is so that I could have three channels driven focused on their content and they stay with what they are so Techno Babble is tech stuff, Valhalla's Demise is gaming stuff, and then Valhalla's Demise art channel is where I do art stuff. And that way I build more of a cohesive, you know, like people, newer people that may not care about all the things that I like to do, the channels are more focused. That That's the idea behind that. So I love doing the tech stuff. I love tearing this stuff down and fixing it and cleaning it and trying to learn my best about it which i know normally my videos are super rambly and i really don't know what the hell i'm talking about but that doesn't mean that i don't enjoy it i really do um i just don't have the best way with words and i'm not like the most educated about this stuff like i'm not going to be going in typically on a controller and replacing little tiny bits and parts like you've seen if you've watched the channel like the first couple of times i've ever actually managed to accomplish soldering anything together has happened in the videos on this channel so it is what it is um i don't have the income to like always be buying new tech stuff 
And it's certainly not going to get sent to me as a channel with, what, 18 subscribers now? And, I, and that's awesome that the channel is growing and I haven't even managed to put a video on here in like a month or so. So that, that really is awesome that, like, I know that, you know, I'm doing the best I can with the content. Again, I'm sorry that I don't know, like, the and 19 subscribers, actually. It has gained 7 in the last couple of days. So I, I hope that they can be useful. This one's not particularly going to be useful. I don't, I don't think this was a particularly popular controller. And um, as far as I can tell, I'm not going to be able to fit new sticks in it anyway to get it back to functioning. So I just clean it up, put it up. It's more of a collectible, I guess, than a functional controller. I never was in love with it to begin with. And it's not like I can go out. I mean, I could probably mod it to have a rechargeable battery. Um, I'd have to do some research and stuff. If you're interested in that, maybe, you know, hit me up. But I don't know when I'd have the funds to buy the parts and stuff to try to mod it. And again, I don't want to ask for money for a Patreon for Techno Babble because I just don't think that that's the same as, like the art channel or something where I would want a patron to help like get supplies or go for bigger projects like I can do more than just draw I can do more than take tech stuff apart you know I don't know I didn't expect this voiceover to turn this rambly <laughs> or be this sad feeling but um i will try to get around to the lenovo laptop review um i have i have another console teardown coming it's not really a repair just a cleaning and oh it's god it thing was disgusting but i'm keeping that secret hush hush for now um and then I've got some old videos that I, some unboxings where I had got stuff uh, around last tax time that uh, I'll be re-uploading soon enough. I probably won't even change the voiceovers on those. I might, I'm, I'm going to have to listen back to what was said and everything and see if it still seems as relevant. And, uh... Yeah, I just want to let everyone know that might be concerned that uh, I don't want to change the channel name. I love the channel name. It's such a great name. Um, but as Valhalla's demise and, you know, being the father of three kids and trying to keep up with three YouTube channels, uh, Technobabble's probably going to fall behind as far as content goes because I can I can do drawings and stuff pretty regularly but I don't always have tech to tear down so that's the reality of it and uh, unfortunately I really don't have an awful awful lot to say about this controller in particular like uh it's kind of fiddly to take apart. I never did like it. Like growing up, I thought the concept is cool. Like wireless is always cool. I never did like controllers like having to, I mean, I didn't think about it at one point, but then you get to like 360 era and having a wired controller. I mean, I did mostly run mine wired because we couldn't keep batteries. Um, anyway, now you just buy rechargeable packs and put in everything or unless you've got a PlayStation and then it comes with a rechargeable battery or the switch comes with rechargeable batteries that's an argument on its own though um, a lot of people will say that it's silly that Xbox controllers don't come with rechargeable battery packs but then you can buy rechargeable packs that just drop in for like 15 bucks and that's it you know battery goes bad you throw the battery away and not the whole controller and you can throw in a new battery the battery is going to eventually go
go bad in a PlayStation controller or in the Nintendo Switch controllers. They they're your own. They they're not. You know they have finite lives. And then you've got to tear the thing down and you've got to buy a specific tiny little battery that goes in it for like 15, 20 bucks anyway. So Xbox is kind of ahead on that in my opinion because you don't have to tear the controller apart to put new batteries in it. I mean, it's an inconvenience, I suppose. And But then at the same time, like the, the price difference, or it did, I've not checked on the price in a while. As far as a new uh, Xbox controller goes, or some Joy Cons, or a PlayStation controller, but the, I'm pretty for sure that the Dual Sense that they've got now for the PlayStation 5 is ridiculously expensive. It's like 80 bucks, and then Joy Cons are like 80 bucks, and then but the the, the Xbox controller is like 60 bucks from what I can recall, because it's been a while since I bought one. Um, so the price difference is already flats negotiated like you're not paying for that extra battery in the price but you can go buy one you can buy one right beside it if you go to the, like a GameStop or something and get the controller you know so the argument's kind of redundant if you've got your if you've got a PlayStation you're stuck and you're gonna have to eventually either throw your controller away or learn how to fix it to put a new battery in it because it just won't hold charge and the playstation 5 controllers already have a terrible battery life because they've got a microphone and a speaker and lights and rumble and pressure triggers and all that stuff built in and like basically the same battery pack as what was in the playstation 4 controller to begin with so i don't actually know the milliamp hours on it or anything but the battery life is not great and it's not great like even just having the controller sitting around it will drain and I don't know I'm not a big fan of the dual sense that's just being honest I have a video I think it's on the gaming channel where I sort of kind of gave my first impressions on it and honestly it's just exhausting I tried to play what is that let me get a drink Astro's Playroom. Astro's Playroom, and, uh... It's just a workout, which is a good thing, I suppose, in a way, but... I don't know. I don't know about gyro controls or anything like that. There's some people that like it, and... I can't get used to it. I mean, I've come from the Nintendo 64. The Nintendo 60. I come. I come from the Nintendo 64 being like my first primary main controller, to a GameCube, to a 360, to an Xbox One, to kind of branching out to having more stuff. I had a PlayStation. And I still have that PlayStation, but it kind of doesn't work, and we never had many games for it. I mean, it works, but it kind of doesn't work. That's probably a, that's definitely a video for a different time. I need to do some research and figure out what to fix in that thing. That's probably going to be some really tiny soldering kind of stuff. I'm going to have to work up to that one. Um, but yeah, I mean, yeah, I don't know. I don't even know if I'll wind up using this voiceover now. Probably better off to wait till I feel better about it. Let's just use this like a journal event. We'll see. I don't. I don't know how I'll feel about this one. Catch you later.